new product for the 200 series. We have uh, bitten the bullet and purchased an EVC iDrive. So we will be doing a full report on this unit being installed in the 200. Now we have paid full price for this. Um, we have not been given it um, and we will be doing like a, um, a full review so it'll be a non-biased review um, as I said we have paid full whack for this for this iDrive um, purchased from Works 4x4 um, they've helped us out with this now the idea is to enable you to control your throttle response from the non throttle cable cars if you like so now the new cars run on potentiometers so you've got an electric signal taken from the potentiometer on your throttle which runs to another potentiometer on the throttle body and there's always a delay in the two so this is going to elim eliminate the issues you have with um, pedals being lazy if you like so we'll just have a little look and see what we've got in the box so we have our iDrive unit with our mode buttons and our set buttons and you have on this controller um, automatic which will set the memory and the throttle response to how you drive there is E for economy mode so you can again set it in economy and then have a setting from 1 to 9 and then there is the sport mode uh, which gives your pedal a real sharp feel um, and it, it makes it very responsive so we'll take a look at getting this thing installed um, obviously the iDrive is this single little unit and then in the box there is your throttle link so this one goes into your throttle pedal and then it's linked into the iDrive module so that go, that just sits in between the two that causes the, the link and then the controller then takes the feed from the iDrive the instructions and some cable ties so we'll get into installing this and we'll give you some live feedback on, on how we do of it See now there's the, the iDrive link sitting between the throttle pedal which is there, it goes up and now sits in between the two. That will then take the feed from the throttle potentiometer which is this part here. There's your throttle pedal and that will manipulate the signal going to the ECU. So we'll just finish off with the rest of the installation. Okay, so installation of the iDrive is finished. Very, very simple. Very simple to do. Um, so basically we have mounted it to the side of the dash here. Cables run around the back and it just links directly into the throttle. So when we turn on our ignition, which is over here, so we just go ignition on. You gotta love these cruises. So we have got you for ultimate and then in your mode you can select which will monitor, monitor how you drive and then adapt its throttle response to your driving and then you've got standard which takes it off and then there's E. E is for economy so at the moment it's set on E4 so you can dongle up and down so E4, we can go up, E5, E6, U, Ultra, so that's zero, and then you can alter your settings accordingly to each of the modes. Let's leave it in Ultra. Let's get the maximum out of this four and a half litre V8 diesel. So we'll give it a full test run very shortly and we'll, um, we'll report back. Uh, we will be taking that for a run and we'll put it out on the lanes and then we'll um, put it down into 
economy mode for the lane so you've got a very soft throttle and then when you get onto the road we'll put it into U for its sport mode and we'll get it onto the performance mode. Lovely. Thanks a lot.